hello guys i am back we are still talking about what is going on what is trending in nigerian politics good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on your location at this time of the day so i have this video to share with you guys please permit me i know a lot of you will say why not share the video you talk so much please just permit me okay um there is some policies in youtube you don't just um re-upload uh some videos that is already in public domain okay so you just have to react to that video before you give it out to your audience so i have this video to share with you the moment peter obi's um running mate yusuf that he break down in tears on the national television i know a lot of you will be asking uh why did yusuf break down in tears i will give you guys the full gist i will share the video for you guys or give you the full story but before then don't forget to subscribe turn on your bell notification so you get updates uh, whenever I publish a new video for you guys. Then as we already know, we have, um, I think, less than um, 62 days for Nigerians uh, to decide who will be their next president. So, election is coming up next year, February, I think 25 or thereabout. So, like I told you guys, um, Yusuf Dati broke down in tears uh, yesterday, Sunday, during the People's Town Hall. Uh, meeting organized by channels television even though some um, other aspirant is afraid of town hall meeting okay according to them uh, it is not constitutional that town hall meeting uh, do not guarantee your winning of election or whatsoever or thereabout okay so peter will be um just as you have seen don't worry i will share the video for you guys peter will be and uh you we live on uh, channels television the, um, town hall series yesterday Sunday to discuss their plans for the country if elected president and vice uh, president of Nigeria so Yusuf however got emotional on the live program and broke down in tears as he spoke on essential matters don't worry you get to hear the essential matters that made Yusuf that he break down in tears all right all right guys um as we know i don't know what to say um like seriously personally i i just wish that the election not wish i believe that with god grace that peter will be uh will become the next nigerian president because looking at the options of other presidential aspirants peter will be the only person uh, people believe before prominent people should endorse Peter Obi, the likes of uh, President Olusegun Obasanjo, Edwin Clark, and um, Samuel Otom of uh, Benue State. I, I mean, these guys understand. Even Chris Ngige, Chris Ngige, talks about the leadership aspect of Peter Obi. That is the reason why Chris, Minister of uh, Labour, I think so. That is the reason why Chris Ngige is not supporting any presidential aspirant, even though he's working under the APC government. But he believed that Peter will be, from what Chris Ngige says, that Peter will be is a man that can deliver. But because we practice partisan politics, however, we are talking about eight years, another eight years of Nigerian to either make it right or leave it. Let me not waste much of your time. I mean, it was so, so emotional. Yusuf, that he's talking about what is the nature of Nigeria. If elected as president and vice president, how they will be able to rescue the situation. What is going on in Nigeria? But the question is, will these people allow Peter B and Yusuf Dati to win the election or rule them? However, listen to the video. If you have anything to contribute, Put it down in the comment section below. See you guys after watching this video. Bad, but it does look like that's, uh, that scenario changed a bit. Uh, but how is that for you? It really hasn't changed. Really? Yeah, it's on the increase actually. But I have been able to succeed um, from the last press conference that I held. Um, it has made a huge impact on 2023 elections. Um, it was actually intended to call a particular gentleman to order. And I don't need to repeat all his uh, utterances. And they were taking us on a very dangerous, um, 
di direction. Uh, it was uh, uncivilized, undemocratic, and unpolitical, the way they were attacking our personalities. It was no longer making sense, the kind of politics they wanted to practice. A businessman like Peter Obi, who was uh, very, very excited at the oil opportunity in northern Nigeria, and all they could do was to say that he was against it. This cannot continue. When I joined the ticket, I impeached certain lies against him, and I saw that they were heading towards that. And particularly my good friend on the APC side, you know, on the same level, uh, he was really, really, you know, when people think they have money, they have power, and the sitting authority is theirs. There is no limit. Someone has to tap them on the shoulder. I did it, and I pointed a finger. You do it again. Do one, I'll do three. You know I'm capable of doing it. And uh, they've stopped. However, you know, uh, me and my family have been paying a huge price for, um, you know, my attempts to save Nigeria, to rescue Nigeria. They sent all sorts of people after me. I would have been a lot happier if only they stopped at me as an individual. But, you know, the thing that I was able to sort with the presidential and vice presidential candidate, I ended up suffering from a much lesser uh, level, uh, 35 years ago at least. Um, our dad of blessed memory passed away. No one ever insulted him until I joined elections for presidency. This is not fair. No one ever insulted. It doesn't happen anywhere in the world. You don't insult people's parents or their families. It doesn't happen. It's a huge price for anyone to pay. To insult anybody. Sorry about that. I know it's a bit emotional. Um, sorry about that. Let's get to the very first segment of the conversation, and it's about 